Hey, what's up, happy people? Come on in. It's the magician of Tarot Gear okay, back with another installment. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are well. Hopefully, you guys are excited because I know I am. I am talking about what you need to know right now. Dun dun dun. I've already pre shuffled and blessed four pals. Allow me to pick my pals, please. First pal is going to be this Buddha Zen. If you like feng shui, if you like meditation, if you like frequencies, you might want to check out this pile. Second pal is going to be this bonehead. Say, ah, scary. Oh, no. <laughs> Third pal is going to be this alien. Say, take me to your leader. Last but not least, it's going to be the no bad vibes. If you're peace oriented, if you are happy and you know it, clap your hands. Guys, that's all I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Tell me how much you love the reading, how much you hate the reading. I accept it all. Get it off your chest. Um, that's all I got. Peace. What's up, pal one? Come on in. Let's talk about what you need to know right now. Great spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with pal number one? Well, first of all, you guys have extra cards, so it might be a, a rough reading for you guys, so please don't shoot the messenger. You might also want to check out pal two since we have two duplicates. Do what feels calls to you. Great spirit, what's going on with pal number one? Please and thank you. We have Empress out here. The Empress is known to be supportive, attractive, um, beautiful, um, loving and caring. I don't know if this is your energy or someone else's energy, um, but I tap in my second card. We have the Nine of Swords out here upright. Now, the Nine of Swords is kind of like the opposite of the Empress out here. The Nine of Swords is anxiety, misery, and stress. I feel like you guys have been stressing out to the max recently, and somebody's been giving you advice and been loving and supportive and there for you, giving you them a shoulder for you to lean on but i feel like you guys are resistant with this engine revving in the background if you guys can hear it so people are trying to get your attention but i feel like you are blind to their advice with these hands being over with your hands being over your eyes and over your ears with this engine in the background that's like a message of spirit trying to get your attention on you can't ignore what's in front of your face with this nine of swords out here. So you're in misery and somebody's trying to give you advice and being loving and supporting, but you guys are kind of turning a blind eye. And that's not okay. This is a spiritual reading. So spirit is watching your reaction and how you move about things. If somebody's trying to be there for you, you gotta, you know, accept their advice or don't accept it, but don't be mad when you're still in this dark place because I see nothing but darkness out here. So let's continue on. We got the Ten of Cups out here in reverse. Now the Ten of Cups in reverse are all about toxic family. And I feel like you either look at a person that as if they're not good enough or it's something about them that you don't trust. But I feel like you guys lean towards individuals that aren't good for you. Um, a lot of you guys don't know who to trust is what I'm getting here and you trust the wrong individuals. Um, but I feel like you have somebody out there trying to give you their full support and their full happiness and, you know, get you out of the darkness with, with the darkness out here. But I feel like you shun them away with the Ten of Cups out here in reverse. The Ten of Cups is all about, you know, supporting, gathering one another. But you shun somebody away when you should really be closer to them. Let's continue on. We got the magician out here in the verse. I feel like you guys would rather disappear and not acknowledge what conflicts you, what bothers you. I feel like you guys are inspired one moment, but then when it's time to act, you guys, you know, buckle down or you fold is what I'm getting here. Because the magician comes with a lot of activity, lots of manifestation. I feel like if you want better for yourself, I know you guys want better for yourself because... I read uprights and reversals. The magician is known to manifest and then we have all this happenings out here. You want better for yourself, but you listen to the wrong individuals or you do it for the wrong reasons. And that's gonna come with consequences. What else we got? We have the page of swords out here in reverse. I feel like you've heard a message time and time again of what you should do, but I feel like you guys are a bit hard headed with this child out here. Um, typically with this page of swords, he's a student. 
he is an amateur and I feel like you guys don't know which direction you should turn into, but you have to look at the advice that's given to you. You have to look at people's character. You have to discern better. Um, I understand that you can't, you don't want to be anybody's fool, but you also have to look at people's track record. Um, it's something that's really plaguing you right now. And I don't know the details of what's plaguing you, but I know that people are trying to help you out of that situation, but you want to ignore the message because the pages are known to be messengers in new chapters. What else you got? We have you ignoring a message with the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is all about not receiving what's in front of your face, being unresponsive, and not budging. And I feel like this is your energy through and through. So if you want to remain stuck, if you want to remain unhappy, don't be mad at anybody else except for yourself because you had opportunities. Spirit tried to get your attention. Spirit tried to get you moving, but you wanted to stay stuck. What else you got? We got the Seven of Swords in reverse. A lot of people don't like to be called out, but I feel like y'all have to call yourself out and hold yourself accountable for not taking responsibility of things that you could have changed. So if you want to remain in a place that's not good for you, that's surrounded by corrupt individuals and people that lie and steal and cheat, then that's entirely on you. We all make our own choices. We all make our own bed. You know, I, nobody can force you to do anything that you don't want to do. But what that said is don't be upset when, you know, at the end of the day you feel alone and unappreciated when somebody's been trying to be loving and supportive towards you. Ending this reading with the Ace of Wands in reverse. My Ace of Wands in reverse is punishment and discipline. I feel like Spirit was going to have to give you harsher realities in order for you to get the sign. The Ace of Wands is a sign and inspiration. I feel like you're inspired to do something differently, but you choose not to do it. You choose to disobey Spirit's command. You choose to, like, you know ignore people's negative side and you like to you know just paint them to be the good guy when in all actuality you need to hold them accountable let's get clarity and closing remarks please and thank you oh we got multiple cards I like starting off with my multiple cards. So let's start off with the magician out here in reverse. A lot of you guys don't want to manifest different for yourself, but you have to have some action behind it. Let's talk about it. Five of Pentacles is all about suffering a loss, suffering physically, suffering financially. And sometimes people learn through adversity. And I'm not wishing this on you. I feel like a lot of you guys need to develop thicker skin and not be so afraid of change. What else we got? We got the Six of Pentacles out here in the verse. It's something that you need to be doing, but you expect to receive from another person. You don't feel like you need to do anything from a situation. I feel like a lot of your heads are really inflated with this loaf out here, and you kind of skirt away from responsibility. I saw that energy out here. You're skirting away from responsibility and holding people accountable. You're not wanting to budge or, you know, make a move when you got to do something different. What else you got? You got the Three of Wands out here. I feel like you guys see clearly, but you guys have to act upon what you see. The Three of Wands is all about action and activity, but if you want to keep the rose-colored glasses on, that's entirely up to you. We all have choices to make. Let's talk about this Ten of Cups out here in reverse. Um, toxic family. You have, you're surrounding yourself with somebody that's very toxic, but you call them family, you call them friends, you paint a pretty picture. You know, you have rose-colored glasses on. Let's talk about a spirit not pleased with you, you know, lying and deceiving to yourself. Two of Wands is all about planning. I feel like you guys have to separate your mind space from your heart. I feel like you guys have to weigh the pros and the cons of a person or a community that doesn't serve you well. And you have to look, you know, beyond the facade. What else you got? We got the Six of Wands out here. Spirit is telling me with the Eight of Wands out here, you guys are supposed to be in another direction because the Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands both talk about transportation and getting through things and travel. And I feel like you guys have been trying to plan to travel or go somewhere else that's not toxic, 
but you guys are at a standstill. I feel like you will have victory because that's what the Six of Wands represents, victory and success. But you guys are at a standstill and you're still like, you know, in, in limbo when it shouldn't be in limbo when you've seen how people treat you. Let's talk about this Empress out here. Ten of Swords is all about backstabbing and betrayal. I feel like the person that is trying to help you out of this damaged place can't keep on trying to convince you is what I'm getting here. It's almost like them beating a dead horse. Um, you can overlook the betrayal and the backstabbing. You can overlook the non-supportive nature behind these people that you call family, behind, who you call, you know, friends. But only you can pick yourself up. It's not anybody else's responsibility. Let's talk about this nine of swords out here. Devil card out here, upright. Some people want to see you in this dark place. And I feel like you have to be the one to identify their negative side with the devil card out here. The devil will lie in your face. And what I'm getting here is you believe the lie, which is unfortunate. And then you wonder why you're in this miserable state. I don't wish this on you, but you got to recognize that people are playing you. Let's talk about this. This page of swords in reverse. The world card out here. There's a cycle that needs to be completed. The world card is all about a successful completion. The world was created in six days, and on the seventh day, God took a break. I feel like it's something that you have to put down that's weighing heavy on you, but you just are unresponsive. You know, we all have to take responsibility and hold people accountable. And if you do or if you don't, that's entirely up to you. Let's talk about this four of cups out here, unresponsive. Ten of cups. Ten of cups in reverse is more toxic family. Toxic family already came out here. You don't want to hold people accountable because of longevity or because... I see an accumulation out here. Whenever you have accumulation, it's history. It's a long-standing time. I feel like you're familiar with a group of people that are not good for you, that they show their toxic side and you ignore. You don't even trust them with the Six of Cups in reverse. So if there's no trust, then, you know, what is there? Let's talk about the Seven of Swords in reverse, holding people accountable. Ten of Pentacles out here in reverse. A lot of you guys feel like you're going to lose out on something. A lot of you guys feel like you've put in a lot of time. We have more time out here with the tens out here. Tens accumulate. A lot of you guys feel like you dedicated yourself to a job, a task, um, a legacy. I don't know what it is for you guys, but you have to recognize that somebody is keeping the treasure away from you because we got a thief out here and then we got the treasure chest closing when it's in reverse. So if you want to, you know, keep the rose-colored glasses on and believe the hype and, you know, believe the liar, then that's entirely up to you. But I feel like when it's your day to have your success and riches, then you can't be mad when it doesn't happen because you put your faith in the wrong person. Let's talk about this Ace of Wands in reverse, punishment and discipline. We got the Seven of Wands in reverse. Seven of Wands is letting down your guard. Some of you guys have to let down your guard and go with the flow. I feel like you guys are a bit defensive on doing what you're inspired by. You have boundaries and you're resistant and you're apprehensive. But I feel like that's exactly what Spirit wants you to do because I have the Eight of Wands out here upright. Eight of Wands is communication and travel. But I feel like you guys don't want to cause a fight. You don't want to cause a ruckus. You don't want to defend yourself. And if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Guys, that's been your message. I'm wishing you love, courage, and happiness. Peace.
Hey, what's up, power number two? Come on in, bring it on in. Let's talk about you. What do you need to know right now? Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with power number two? Please and thank you. I don't have channel messages. I don't have extra cards, so it should be short and sweet. What does power two need to know right now, please? Eight of Pentacles out here. Spirit wants you to take a break. If you guys are working and you aren't seeing results, it's time for you to take a break and take a step back. Eight of Pentacles is all about hard work, being efficient, working well on your own. If you guys don't feel appreciated, if you guys are overworked, you need to know when to stop with the Eight of Pentacles out here in reverse. Um, this is not a good start to your reading because I read uprights and reversals. So we're talking about breaks. We're taking about time. We're talking about we're talking about breaks. We're talking about taking time off. We're talking about separating yourself from a task that consumes you. Um, spirit recognizes you are hardworking, you're dedicated, but you have to have balance in your life. Let's talk about it. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. A lot of you guys don't feel appreciated at work is what I'm getting here. With all this money in reverse, it's not adding up is what I'm getting here. You guys have to have more work-life balance. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is all about luxury, having more than enough, being appreciated. And I feel like you guys are coming up short in that department. So you guys have to focus on yourself because the Nine of Pentacles is all about what you endure alone. So you have to focus on pampering yourself, renewing yourself, uh, recharging your own batteries when I'm getting here. You're feeling good in life, doing things that please you. But I feel like you guys are so wrapped up with work or doing something for other people that you feel at a deficit. What else you got? We got more work out here. The Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles both signify work and working with other people and working for other people. You guys got to learn when to take a break is what I'm getting here with both these cars signifying work and all these reverses out here. I feel like if it's up to you guys, you will continue on and continue on and continue on until things change. But sometimes you have to allow people to appreciate you in your absence. Okay. What else we got? We have the Nine of Cups out here. I feel like you guys identify with what I'm saying because I see your energy out here. you finally feeling validated, validated and, you know, um, you know. But with the Nine of Cups, I feel like you have to concern yourself and your own needs and your own happiness because the Nine of Cups is fulfillment and self-happiness. So you guys got to do what pleases you. You have to recharge your battery. You have to, you know, think about yourself. This is a... Um, the one time where you should think about yourself because right now you guys are in red you guys are overworking yourself and you have to do what pleases you what else you got you have the message <laughs> I, we have the judgment card in reverse my judgment card is typically a message a wake up call a test i feel like you guys are running yourself ragged I see her being ragged and run down and feel like you guys always want to rise up to the occasion. You always want to answer the call. You feel like you have lots of duty and responsibility. But I feel like, you know, you guys like to beat yourself up is what I'm getting here with judgment card in verse. Because the judgment card in verse for me is being judgmental, critical, and harsh. And I feel like that's your self-talk. Feeling like you always have to be on the go. You have something to prove is what I'm hearing. So you have to recognize when to take a step back and be appreciated um, in other ways than showing up for other people that don't really acknowledge you or appreciate you. What else you got? We got the Ten of Cups out here. I feel like you guys want to extend love. You want to be there. You're loyal is what I'm getting here with the Ten of Cups, but to a deficit. You guys have to know when to take a break. Like, I keep on reiterating, like, <laughs> repeatedly, and I'm sorry, but... With the Ten of Cups out here, you need to enjoy happiness. You need to enjoy life more. And life is not all about work. Life is not all about, you know, being loyal to people that aren't appreciating your energy. What else we got? We got the Four of Wands out here in the verse. The Four of Wands in the verse is all about a mess. And because I typically see a clean home space with the Four of Wands. And I feel like you have chores and responsibilities that you can take care of, but you always put other people before you. So it's time to clean your own house before you can clean other people's house. It's, it's time for you to focus on your own well-being instead of you focusing on other people's well-being. Okay? I feel like some of y'all are people pleasers. 
because the four ones is all about celebration and happiness. But when it's in reverse, I feel like y'all aren't really happy in life because you guys are overextending yourself. Let's get clarity and closing remarks. Hi, priests out here. A lot of you guys are intuitive. You have pages and you feel like the collective doesn't give back to you. You don't get a like. You don't get a subscribe. You don't get a tip. And it's taxing. It's physically exhausting sometimes being a high priestess. And if you're not a high priestess and you, and you don't work with divination, you probably are just very intuitive. But I feel like you guys have to know when enough is enough and you have to have balance. Okay? It's okay to be there for people, but sometimes you got to be there for yourself and disappear. <laughs> Great Spirit, can I get clarity and close remarks, please? And thank you. We got multiple cards, and I like starting off with my multiples first. So let's talk about the Eight of Pentacles that came out twice. We got the Three of Cups. Go out with your friends. Go out for a happy hour. Be social. Go outside if you don't have friends. But do something other than work. Because remember, we have the Eight of Pentacles out here in reverse. So it's time to let your hair down and not focus on duties and tasks. What else we got? You got the six of pentacles a lot of you guys like being there for people you feel like it's your duty and yes that's you know commendable but you have to have more balance in your life with these scales out here you like giving and giving and giving and takers like taking and taking and taking what else we got we got this nine of cups out here upright spirit wants to talk about that happiness temperance out here in a verse you have to know when to recharge the temperance is known to be a balance of peace of moderation and i feel like you guys have to have a healthy work-life balance if you aren't feeling the love it's time to you know replenish your own love and do what you love to do so you can give to the collective so you can pour so you can you know be there for others what else we got we got the judgment card i feel like you guys are receiving this message it's making you guys more aware of what you need to do and how you need to do it. Um, judgment card is all about a message, a wake-up call, and a test. So Spirit wants you guys to focus on yourself a bit more. And there's nothing wrong with being a bit selfish when people are, you know, in turn a bit selfish. Let's talk about this four wands in reverse. Multiple cards for that. A mess. We got the Ten of Wands out here. I see more of a mess with the Ten of Wands. I see responsibilities and chores around the house. I see a pile of clothes, a pile of dishes. I see things that you need to take care of and tasks that you need to focus on, but you guys want to put your all into your job or duty or task. You have to focus on your own well-being and stop neglecting your own needs. What else we got? We got the Death card out here in reverse. Death card in reverse for me is sickness and ailments and something that's not complete because the death card is an ending. I feel like you have a long list of things that you need to tackle and complete. I just heard taxes. Some of you guys need to finish your taxes. And you haven't done it because you're too focused on your job or your duties and tasks. And, and you got chores that are piling up, but it's not complete because you are distracted from doing a task. You got to know when to stop. Let's talk about this nine of pinnacle in reverse, not feeling appreciated. Ace of Wands out here. Ace of Wands is inspiration, it's the hand of God, and I feel like you're getting the thumbs up from spirit to appreciate yourself. Because I have lots of solo dolo energy out here. The nines are all about what one person endures alone, and I feel like spirit wants you guys to enjoy yourself more instead of always having something to prove. Let's talk about the three of coins out here, lack of work high priestess out here in reverse I, like i said before i feel like a lot of you guys are very intuitive you work with divination or you're an astrologer and you want to help people out of the darkness because the high priestess is of service she's helping people spiritually and i feel like you guys want to help people but you don't feel the return you don't feel the love so it's time for you guys to disappear sometimes it's not saying you're not good enough it's just saying that you guys have to know when to pause i see a pause symbol out here Let's talk about this judgment card in reverse, being critical and harsh on yourself. The emperor out here, a lot of you guys have toxic family members or toxic parents that was harsh on you. So you adopted that programming with the emperor out here because the emperor is known to be a father figure. And they like to tell you what to do. And now you feel like if you're not doing something, then you're not worthy or you're not, you're useless is what I'm getting. And that's entirely false. You have to know when to pause, take a break, think about your own needs. And Typically, I don't get good energy from the Emperor in reverse, but you have to be a bit selfish if you're not 
getting the energy that you deserve. Let's talk about this Ten of Cups out here in reverse. I mean, upright. Um, you have to focus on your own fulfillment. Four of Swords out here. A lot of you guys don't have peace in your life, mainly because you have tasks and responsibilities that you have to take care of, but you focus on the on things that don't balance out. Okay, so you have to focus on your own well-being and not being there for other people. I feel like when I mentioned a toxic family member or a toxic parent, that's what really got your attention and you need to focus on, you know, rest and peace and breaks and not feeling like you're useless if you're not constantly working. You know, don't be the energizer bunny until you run out of energy. Peace, y'all. I love you. Go take a break. Go rest. Go disappear. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Peace. Yo, 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 what's up, pal three? Come on in, let's talk about what you need to know right now. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on, pal number three? Please and thank you. I don't have channel messages. I don't have extra cards, so it should be short and sweet. Pal three, what do they need to know? The hangman out here. Spirit's telling me it's okay for you guys to take a break, for you guys to pause and reflect, because the higher, the higher font, a lot of you guys have lots of responsibilities with the higher font popping out of my mouth. The higher font is going to be a boss, a leader, a person of authority. Um, duty oriented and task oriented but it's okay for you guys to take a, a break or a pause because I'm seeing a pause symbol out here with these two branches the hangman is all about reflecting so you guys have to sort some things out mentally is what I'm getting here and sometimes you gotta be at a standstill just to sort things out Grace Beard what's going on here Ace of Pentacles out here. I feel like you guys will find a, an aha moment or a blessing within your stillness. I see a piece of steel out here and I see stillness and him not moving anywhere. So I feel like you guys will come up with an aha moment, something that will be brilliant or it could you could even make money off this idea. It doesn't have to be money oriented, but I see an aha moment. I feel like you are dealing with a problem because the hangman is all about being in a stressful situation finding peace and that's how he becomes enlightened so i feel like something is plaguing your mind you want to find peace once you find stillness and you sort things out you will be able to capitalize off of it hopefully makes sense what else you got you got the four swords in reverse a lot of you guys are at a state of a lack of peace because the four swords is all about peace meditation and rest i feel like something is plaguing you something is eating you up on the inside and you're always on the go with the four swords in reverse. Uh, Y'all need to stop. I see a stop sign that just envelops out of here. You need to stop and smell the roses. You need to stop and reflect on what you're doing. I feel like a lot of you guys are running away from 
your thoughts because you don't want to make a decision or because you know what you need to do. And that's why it's plaguing you. But I feel like y'all are doing a lot of running away when you need to stop and pause and figure out a plan. That's just for somebody. But I see the stress levels out here with the four swords in reverse. I see the activity with the four swords out here in reverse. And you guys got to reflect. What else you got? We got the Queen of Pentacles out here upright. The Queen of Pentacles is known to be well off, known to be seated. I feel like whether you're a man or a woman, you need to stop and reflect and look at people's character and discern a bit better on who is around you. I feel like y'all are getting influenced by the wrong individuals that you need to let go. Excuse my burp, but that's a channel message, a physical channel message that you need to let go of people that are surrounding you and plaguing your mind space. You need to discern their character with the Queen of Pentacles out here. What else you got? We got the Three of Swords out here in reverse. The Three of Swords is all about healing. I feel like some of you guys have physical ailments or sickness that you're going through right now. It's all because you're so overactive with the Four of Swords being in reverse. You guys are trying to figure some things out. You're suffering physically. And that spirit trying to give you a sign to stop. I see another stop sign out here with the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords out here. Telling me y'all have a problem with stopping and contemplating and deciding and you know discerning so you got to stop and spirit has been trying to force you to stop if you guys have been suffering an ailment or you know a sickness for at least three days what else you got we got the world card in reverse i feel like something has come up suddenly because the world card in reverse is somebody's world being flipped upside down and lots of chaos i feel like something is demanding your attention but i feel like you're always on this go you're always on the wheel you're always on the cycle you're always i see a hamster wheel out here and spirit wants you guys to stop and really reflect on who you surround yourself with because we have an audience out here um i feel like you guys are people pleasers or you're performers and you you have this image that you have to maintain but you have to dismantle that image so you can do what serves you best ending this reading with the page of swords out here in reverse page of swords is known to be a spy and a messenger when he's in reverse um i feel like you guys feel insecure about something that you know you have to do but you are resistant towards it so you got to pause and reflect and you have to study and research um and plan accordingly that's what i'm getting great spirit can i get creating closing remarks please and thank you Justice card is all about discerning the truth, holding people accountable. There are people around you that you have to hold them accountable, but you have an image to maintain, and that's part of the why Spirit wants you to stop and heal and look at their character from afar. Because if you're constantly around their energy, you're going to constantly be ignoring what you need to be focused on. Let's get clarity and closing remarks, please, and thank you. I hope it resonates for y'all. Everybody's situation is different, and this is very vague, so please accept my apology. Let's talk about this hangman out here, stopping and reflecting. Tower card, you guys just had a moment of pain, because the tower card is a bad day, it's stress, it's a crisis, but I see pain out here. I feel like something bad happened to you guys, and Spirit wanted you to reflect on your environment because the tower card is nothing but an environment so what you do with this message what you do with this energy is entirely up to you but you got to figure something out is what i'm getting here and spirit brought this tower moment to you so that you can separate yourself let's talk about this ace of pentacles out here an aha moment spirit wants you guys to reflect on the people that you hang around with because i feel like you're hanging around snakes and people that lie to you because the bible souls are nothing but doing things behind people's back and lying and I feel like people want something that you have, but you keep on having this image that you have to maintain. And it's almost like, you know, why are you entertaining fools? Why are you entertaining clowns? Why are you entertaining snakes? Let's talk about the four swords in reverse, lack of peace. You got the 10 of Pentacles out here in reverse. A lot of you guys don't feel appreciated. The people that you thought was going to be loyal and help you maintain your peace and your meditation and uh, your peace of mind 
aren't there is what I'm getting here. You've known them for a long standing time, but when you don't have peace in your life, you don't feel appreciated. You know, people become B-I-T-C-H's or, you know, they're not there or loyal. See, your loyalty is at a deficit and that's a problem. That's what spirit wants to make you realize because here you are offering and giving to the wrong people. You know, you shouldn't feel a lack of appreciation. You shouldn't feel a lack of loyalty when you're at peace. People should be there for you. Let's talk about this Queen of Pentacles out here, being in a seated position. Three of Pentacles out here in verse. I feel like you guys choose to work with people that are no good for you because the Three of Pentacles is all about working with other people. I feel like people that you work with conspire against you and want to take from you. Um, so you have to recognize these people's character and you have to do something about it. You've been separated for a reason, but here you are trying to maintain an image. So let's talk about this Three of Swords in reverse healing. Justice card out here again. I feel like spiritual justice out here trying to see what you're going to do. It's trying to see if you're going to weigh the pros and the cons or if you're going to, you know find balance within your life if you guys are being taken for granted if you guys don't have loyalty in your life when you are nothing but loyal to them then you have to have some activity along with the discernment okay this is brought to you by spirit like spirit said okay i'm going to see what they do in this situation with the justice card out here they're going to have to heal and see if they're if they have people around them that are going to help them but i feel like y'all don't you feel like it's not fair already with the justice card in the verse and you're suffering. You let people in your heart space, but, you know, they're nowhere to be found to help. Let's talk about this world card in reverse. Chaos. Nine of Pentacles is more energy of not feeling appreciated because the Nine of Pentacles is all about having abundance, a lifestyle change, and more than enough. You guys don't feel appreciated, and when it comes to longevity and loyalty, it's not reciprocated. And that's an issue. You, everybody that smiles in your face is not a friend because the world card comes with a lot of society and groups of people. You know, you have an image to maintain and you want to be there for people, but are they there for you? Let's talk about this page of swords out here in the verse. Ace of Cups out here. Now we have a spy out here and we have the hand of God out here. You know, any ace you get is a blessing from up above. And I feel like Spirit is going to be watching and spying to see if you guys are loyal to, loyal to a deficit. You guys are givers. You want to use your heart space. But is that reciprocated? Because I feel like you guys are looking for the same love that you give. And it's nowhere to be found. Guys, please like, share, subscribe if this message resonates. Peace. Hey, what's up, pile number four? Spirit is showing me three words, so you might want to go check out pile three. Do what feels close to you, and you three flowers, so you definitely want to go check out pile three. Do what feels close to you. Let's talk about pile four. You might have came from pile three. Don't know. Great Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on, pile four? Please and thank you. I don't have channel messages. I don't have extra cards, so pile four, what do they need to know right now? We have the Nine of Wands out here. Nine of Wands is all about perseverance and endurance, but Spirit has forced me to read this in a verse. A lot of you guys are sick and tired of being sick and tired. A lot of you guys feel cornered is what I'm getting here with the Nine of Wands in a verse. 
A lot of you guys want to branch out and break free and have happier days, but Spirit wants you guys to stick it out. I'm here to encourage you guys that your hard work and your whatever you're going through is not in vain, so don't give up with the nine of wands out here upright, okay? Let's talk about it. You got the two of cups out here. I feel like you're going to have support coming your way coming soon because the nines are all about solo dolo energy and what one person endures alone so a lot of you guys have been feeling isolated but you're going to have a shoulder to lean on you're going to have support system coming in your way um and that will alleviate the burdens that you've been carrying you're going to have advice you're going to have support you're going to have anything that you need is what i'm getting here this is a, a love reading it's what it's turning into because a lot of you guys are single right now a lot of you guys feel isolated and a lot of you guys are about to be in a relationship. So let's talk about it. You got the world card. This is something that you guys have been waiting on is what I'm getting here with the world card. Now the world card does come, does come with a process. The world was created in the six days and on the seventh day, the Lord took a break. And I feel like you can't rush divine timing is what I'm hearing, okay? You can't rush the world being created because mistakes will be made. But I feel like somebody looks at you as a prize or a victory or you hold their attention. Um, Spirit is singling out this woman and these screeches. So somebody's captivated by you. Somebody wants to be in your life. Somebody wants to do some traveling with you is what I'm seeing here with the world card and the lover's card. I mean, I said the lover's card, the two of cups out here. I feel like you guys want to do some traveling and you feel restraints in your life. But Spirit wants you to wait for another person to do the traveling. You don't really want to go by yourself because... There could be resistance or there could be issues. And it's better to go with another person. It's better to have a support system. But with the world card out here, this is the answer or the call or the message that you've been looking for is what I'm hearing and seeing. Like you want to go out and explore the world. And you will, but you have to endure a little bit longer. You can't give up on your situation. You can't look in the rearview mirror and say, you know, when, when, when? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. Well, let's talk about it. We have the Knight of Rods out here. The Knight of Rods is all about going on explorations, advancing, going on missions. I feel like a lot of you guys want to go someplace specific to you. You have a long list of destinations, but you can't go now. I feel like if you were to go alone, it would be lots of stress and burdens because I have the Ten of Wands out here. Ten of Wands of stress and burdens and, you know, an upheaval. And I feel like Spirit does not recommend you going alone for whatever reason. Like, if you have another person with you, it would be much more lighter. It would be much more gratifying. That's what I'm hearing. But you guys definitely want to go somewhere. You want to break free. But Spirit is like, wait for another person to tag along. What else we got? We got the Queen of Pentacles out here. You would appreciate the experience a whole lot more if you were to have another person with you. Is what I'm getting with the Queen of Pentacles out here. I feel like y'all are tired of resting on your laurels because I see her in a seated position for a long standing time. A lot of you guys feel like you're in jail or you're in punishment and you guys can't watch the clock is what I'm getting here because I see a clock in her hand now. So you guys got to just, you know, take it step by step. I'm here step by step, day by day. <laughs> what else we got? We got the lover's card in reverse. This is a person that you're not happy with. <laughs> Um, somebody put a sour taste in your mouth because I see a lemon head out here. So you're going to have a reconnection with a person that you probably don't even want to reconcile with. But this is destiny for you guys to be together. You guys have a special connection or a divine connection from up above. And despite you guys not getting along right now, doesn't mean you can't transform that energy in the future. Spirit wants you to take this journey with this person. Okay, but I feel like you guys have kicked this person to the curb. I feel like y'all were trying to be vulnerable with this person with these naked bodies out here, but they didn't appreciate you or appreciate your honesty or who you were. You probably felt judged. You probably felt scolded. You probably felt like they had other options with the lover's card in reverse. But I feel like none of that matters because spirit has a reason for everything. Ending this reading with the eight of swords out here eight of swords is lots of restriction and confinement a lot of you guys are claustrophobic and you are just in a resistant type of energy out here you feel constrained and i feel like you guys will get out of those constraints but you guys have to be optimistic spirit wants me to read this in reverse you have to be optimistic and you will break free 
Um, and a lot of you guys want to go alone. You want to do something alone. But you're going to have a white knight that comes and rescues you. So keep the hope alive. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> what else we got? Can I get clarity and close on Mark? Somebody wants to heal something with you. And you have to give them the chance. I feel like with these reversals out here, um, you had a connection with a person that kind of broke your heart. And you have to allow them to heal the situation without scolding them, without burning them. <laughs> I see lots of fire out here. A lot of y'all burn something or you got rid of something or you burn that bridge is what I'm seeing. Great Spirit, can I get clarity and closer remarks, please? And thank you. A lot of you guys view this person as bad vibes, indecisive, somebody that's going to take your peace away, but, and you have your walls up, but you guys got to learn to forgive and forget. You have to allow people to change. Great Spirit, can I get clarity and closing remarks, please? And thank you. Let's talk about this nine of wands out here, endurance. Devil card out here, I don't like this. A lot of you guys feel like you're in hell right now. A lot of you guys don't like your environment. A lot of you guys feel like there's lots of violence or negativity around you, which is why you're like, no bad vibes. I'm tired of this area, I'm tired of this space. I need a change of scenery is what I'm getting here. Um, but you gotta watch out for the intrusive thoughts that keep you bound in this negative mentality is what I'm getting here with the lovers card. Yeah. I said the lovers card, but I was referencing the devil card. Um, somebody lusts for you, and we know who that somebody is, but they don't really act upon their heart space, so you guys gotta, you know, help them, help themselves. Let's talk about this two of cups out here. We have the three of swords back out here. This is more confirmation and validation that somebody wants to heal the relationship. I feel like they broke your heart. You felt scolded or, you know, you felt like you weren't appreciated by them. But Spirit wants you to allow them to heal the situation, their wrongdoings. So how about this world card, travel and completions? Uh, we have the Queen of Cups out here. And we also have the Queen of Pentacles out here. Whenever I have individuals in the same, in two separate suites that are of the same sex, it's kind of like um, LGBT. So I don't know what your situation is, if you're a lesbian, if you're gay, if you don't know what to call yourself, but I feel like somebody was trying to figure out what they were into. That's just for some. But I feel like things will work out in your favor, but you have to be, you can't let your heart turn cold based on what other people put you through. And I know that's easier said than done, but don't remember your love and your grace and your support, whether you're a man or a woman. Let's talk about this Knight of Rods out here. Y'all want to go somewhere. Ten of Pentacles out here in reverse. Um, I feel like something is taxing. I don't know. Y'all probably just got your taxes and you're ready to go somewhere. Or something is very taxing on your mind space. And you just want to break free and have a change of scenery out here. And you want to go to alone and you don't want to be held back. But um, I feel like there's a reason why you haven't gone yet. Okay. Let's talk about this Queen of Pentacles out here. Oh, Spirit wants to reiterate, we have some LGBT out here and people have to figure th themselves out and you can't rush their process just because you know who you are. You don't know what they went through is what I'm hearing here. So listen without judging is what I'm getting here. Okay, let them share their story without you guys persecuting one another. Let's talk about the lovers card in reverse. We have the Knight of Wands out here. A lot of you guys have burned that bridge and you're ready to leave this person behind because I see this tail turning into fire. More fire out here. I don't know. Y'all probably burned something that belonged to them or you burned that bridge and you're just completely done. Okay, you're ready to move on and you feel like you should have moved on a long time ago. And this person probably made you feel like you were wasting your time or your breath or your energy. But um, I feel like this person is aroused by you and I feel like once y'all do get it on, this person's going to slut you out, and this person might even make you feel like, I feel a long-standing time that's going to be bottled up, and then when y'all get it on and get naked, they're going to slut you out. Because the Knight of Wands in the verse is going to be a whore, but I see lots of um, aggression and lots of, you know, desire with this being in reverse. You probably felt like this person was a whore or indecisive on which way they should go. Um, but a lot of you guys have also burned a bridge. Let's talk about this Eight of Swords out here. Feeling stuck. 
you're feeling stuck and you want to go at it alone, but you're about to have another person by your side. And Spirit wants me to read this energy. I got the Eight of Cups out here. Spirit doesn't want you to go somewhere alone because it's safety precautions or you're going to have eyes on you that you don't want to have eyes on you because the Eight of Cups is leaving everything behind. You guys want to change the scenery, but you need another person that you can trust next to you by your side. And you won't be in this position for long, but you just have to be open to what another person's gone through. And then you got to share your story so you guys can let bygones be bygones because we have children out here. After age, now you choose eyes. <laughs> Peace, y'all. Love you. Please like, share, subscribe.